Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you an in-depth review of this brand new 65 watts basis charger with integrated USB-C cable. It's a bi-directional cable so I can use it to directly charge the laptop or recharge the battery bank itself. I love this battery bank for its convenience since I never have to remember carrying a USB-C to USB-C cable. I will fully discharge my laptop to 0% so you don't have to do that. It's really bad for the battery so never fully discharge but for the sake of the test I'm going to uh, drain it down to 0% and fully charge the battery to 100% analyze its charging efficiency and its conversion rate. It took one hour and 30 minutes to fully recharge the battery from zero to 100% using its built-in cable connected to the basis 100 watts multi-port charger. It actually reached 99% around one hour and 10 minutes mark. I connected the battery pack to the MacBook Pro 16 inch from 2021 and the charging starts. The battery bank is fully charged. I hit the record button on the GoPro and the time lapse starts. I added a digital clock making things a bit easier to read. So the whole setup looks like this. The maximum output of the battery bank is at 65 watts. It's currently dropping at 1% per minute rate. By pressing the button on the side, it will cycle through the percentage, the voltage, and the amperage, so we can get a good idea of the charging speed. The wattage is the voltage times amperage. The basis battery depleted after about 60 minutes. Let's see how much power it delivered to the MacBook Pro. The MacBook gained 58.9%. Its battery aged a lot at 93.4% of its original designed capacity. So what does these numbers mean? Here's a breakdown. So Mac has 100 watt hour battery capacity. The basis battery bank has 74 watt hour capacity. I got 58.9% of charge into the MacBook Pro, which means I roughly got, let's say 59 watt hour from the basis battery bank. So if we use 59 divided by 74, that is 70, 9.7% efficiency. This is a really good result considering my MacBook has a, a lowered battery capacity because of due to its aging. So I can safely assume that it's probably going to be around 83% of conversion rate actually excellent results one of the best i have ever tested i would like to point out that for smaller macbooks such as a macbook air with m12 chip is rated at 53 watt hour uh, in this case the basis battery bank should be able to fully recharge the macbook air 2021 no problem the macbook pro 14 inch is around 60 to watt hour if i remember correctly so it will um, not be able to fully recharge that model but still will give you macbooks at least 90 percent boost the battery pack stayed pretty cool during the charging process with a maximum of 131 degrees fahrenheit my room temperature was 72 degrees fahrenheit from this angle, we can see the top part of the battery is the warmest and it's working very hard. It's working very hard to push the 65 watts of power into the laptop. I understand a lot of you probably are wondering, can it charge itself? No, it cannot. This is a clever design, <laughs> so it does not recharge itself. It's all zero. The engineer from Basis really thought this through and it's a great product. 
they paid attention to this small detail. When I'm editing this video, I'm using this battery bank again. So here's another test from its USB-C ports with the USB-C cable, which is 100 watts rated, connected to my battery, uh, connected to my MacBook Pro to see the charging speed. So let's zoom in from the clan tools. I'm getting about 20 volts and three amps. So that is 60 watts verified. Okay. Fantastic product. So you don't have to use this cable uh, and still get great results. Uh, optionally, we can connect more cable to it. For example, let's try the iPhone. From this port, we'll be able to see the charging speed. Well, this is not a good test case since I'm already at 100%. Uh, just a demo that it can be done. And charging multi-device at the same time. So the iPhone, MacBook Pro, connected to the basis USB-C 100 watts charger. Let's see, it recharges at it's going to go to 60 watts, I believe. 60 watts. Okay, that's correct. 69. Well, actually, pass-through charging is not possible. I don't see any output from the USB-C port when I'm recharging using its built-in cable or if I charge via this USB-C port, I'm not getting any output from its built-in USB-C cable. It can only recharge when connected to the uh, power supply and you can also see the volt, the voltage and the amperage on its screen. 3.2 amps, 56% at 19.6 volts. The build quality is excellent. It has additional USB Type-C bi-directional port, which is rated at 65 watts in and out. Dual USB Type-A ports, rated at 5 volts to 4.5 amps, or 12 volts at 2.5 amps. It is a QC3 compatible. There is a USB-C port back there, but it has no power. It is simply for the storage of the cable only. One button press that shows the battery status. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful. For those of you who are interested in unboxing videos, here you go.